What's up, my beautiful people? Welcome to my channel. This is your girl, Mommy So True. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're new here. I am a thriver, a survivor coming out of narc abuse, you guys. I'm stopping in, checking in today with you on this lovely Saturday just to let you know that you cannot forget to take care of yourself. So many people hit me up, they talk to me, and they ask me, they say, Jen, mommy so true, whatever you wanna call me. They're like, you talk about self-love, you talk about loving on yourself. How do you love yourself? How do you, how do you love on yourself? How do you now love you? So I have to drop a quick message because I wanna throw a, just a quick little gem out there to inspire somebody because I haven't always been this person that you all are seeing. I have been a victim of narcissistic abuse growing up, but I opened my eyes one day and I realized how much self-hatred I had because of the abuse. I realized how much I judged my own body. I realized how much I judged my own face. I realized how much I believed certain things that held me back from achieving more happiness in my life and within myself. First of all, in order to love yourself, you have to appreciate who you are. None of us are perfect. None of us are perfect. We are all humans. And narcissism is a human trait, you guys. The fact that you are a human being, you carry traits, but you have to work on yourself. That's what self-love is. When you work on you, you become self-aware of what's unhealthy about you. You work on that. You put yourself first. Not, not saying, you know, you become arrogant and you put yourself above everybody and you think you're better than everybody but you put yourself first you take care of yourself on saturdays is my self-love days i spend my whole day taking care of me started with my nails <laughs> next skin then hair then my lashes for all of those who hate my false lashes they're coming back because that's what i love to do okay it's not about wanting to get someone's approval or none of that. Like, I don't care what someone else likes about me. If I like it, it's a beautiful thing. I spent too much of my life letting the beliefs of everybody else affect me just because they believed purple hair was unacceptable. I believed purple hair was unacceptable, even if that's what I liked. This is self-love. Self-love is when you stop allowing people to tell you how to live, how to be, how to feel. When you stop feeling the need to be justified by everybody else, that is self-love. Self-love is when you stop putting everybody else's priorities and their needs before yours. That is self-love. Self-love seems a little bit selfish, but it's not. When you have self-love, you know how to balance. You know when you're being selfish. You know when you're doing too much. Understanding self-love is when you understand that love is priceless. You should be able to love on this earth. You should be able to love people and everything because that's how good comes into your life if you love yourself it's easy to love everything around you if you love yourself it's easy to be loved by those around you for so long of my life i thought self-love had everything to do with my looks my mother's a beautiful woman i come from a tribe in ghana where we are known for being extremely beautiful this area is known as Ensuta Kramai, and I hope I'm saying it right. But my people are known for beautiful women, beautiful skin, amazing bodies. We are known for that. And my mother thrives on beauty, so she taught me to focus on how I looked. And I thought that was self-love until I was about 21. I was like, damn, 
This can't be it. There's no way I'm exhibiting self-love and life is going crazy. There's no way I'm loving myself, but I can't seem to get good. I'm not attracting nobody good. If I love myself, why are the people I'm attracting not loving me? So that's when I started to seek help. And that's when I realized my thought of self-love was completely wrong. And I had to get it together. And once I got it together, life started, life started to feel better. Life started to feel better. I was happier as a person. I was no longer going off of what somebody else wanted, how they felt and what they programmed in my mind for me to believe. I started letting go of all these limited beliefs that were affecting me and holding me back from my life. That is self-love. Everything that I was seeing was pointless. Your eyes are pointless when your mind is blind to the truth, when your mind is blind to the education. Everything you're looking at is pointless. Self-love starts with the mind. Self-love starts with thoughts. Letting go of thoughts that are sabotaging your own life. A lot of us put ourselves and keep ourselves in pain because we are not putting ourselves first because we're still neglecting ourselves. From the bottom of my heart, this was supposed to be a quick video. It doesn't seem like it was quick enough, but I'm gonna keep going because I have more appointments. Today is my self-care day and I ain't playing about it. I am loving on me, taking care of me, everything that I could not do when I was dealing with a stupid narc. You know, I couldn't get my hair done. I couldn't get up and just go do my nails without being threatened that, you know, he was gonna come shoot the salon up because I'm in there sucking somebody's dangling. I mean, just disgusting and just over it. And now that I'm free and I can breathe, I'm gonna take care of me. That's what I'm gonna do. All year long, we are focused on loving ourselves. We are focused on finally putting ourselves back. Those of us who's been in a relationship with a narcissist, you've been drained emotionally, physically, psychologically. I mean, you are just over it. Life has been sucked out of you and you need to start taking care of yourself. Go out for walks, go to the gym, work out, do something active get out of the bed you guys i was stuck in the bed for months i had to start taking my life back and some days i see how that makes me feel inside i feel happier when i wake up and my hair is done i wake up and my nails are done i feel better i feel good to look in the mirror and be happy and proud of what i see that to me is thriving and that to me is healing and that is what this is all about you guys this is your girl mommy so true thanks for watching thanks for tuning in today it's been a great day so far i'm gonna go out here and enjoy the rest of it you guys i hope you somewhere taking care of yourself if you need to talk to me about self-love if you need some motivation don't forget to book that session with me i'm available and i am here for you guys i'm going live officially starting march 27th at 8 p.m eastern time don't miss out save it in your calendar it's gonna be monday night lives with mommy so true it's gonna be so true so real i'm gonna be my most authentic self and i'm gonna speak on things that you may not be ready for because i am raw i am real and um i have so much to share about narcissism um and y'all know my life is an open book so i have so many things to tell y'all i have so many stories i have so many examples stay tuned if you're new here don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're not missing out on my weekly videos till next time you guys